we saw the first game that the uh, Edmonton Oilers Calgary Flames ever played, the inaugural game in the Saddle Dome, and I came down on a bus that was hosted by John Short. And my dad and I enjoyed the game, we had a great time, but on the way back, I just had a big smile on my face and all of a sudden this big shadow appeared and it was John Short and John sat and talked sports with me. Really at that time I didn't know would, you know, kind of set things in motion for the rest of my life. Spring of 92, playoff game and the play-by-play -play guy for the Oil Barons didn't show up so they said you want to do it. I got the opportunity in, in 1997 to move to, to Esteban, Saskatchewan to call the Esteban Bruins of the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League. I met the guy that was running the Louisville Panthers of the American Hockey League, the number one affiliate of the Florida Panthers, and they offered me a job. So, you know, my wife and I took this big giant jump, this leap of faith. They got me a, an immigration lawyer and he said, you're gonna do this, this, and this. You just need to go down to North Portal, 20 minutes away from Esteban. And I went down there and they said, it's gonna take you 30 minutes and, and you're, you're gonna be welcomed with open arms in the United States of America. Three hours later, I was officially ejected from the United States of America. And driving back, um, I just happened to listen to the radio. And there, lo and behold, was John Short. And I just sent John a note. I said, geez, John, listened to you last night. Haven't heard you in many years. And he emailed me back. The next thing you know, John and I started a company called AnySportAnyTime.com. July 6 of, of 2011, got a phone call and offered the job to do uh, Flames play-by-play -play on Sportsnet. And we did that for three years. And that ended for me in 2014. And I went back to the radio station. And I was really, really, really lucky, knowing that I was going to hang it up at the end of the week on August 3rd, on the Monday, uh, Jerome McGinley retired. And Jerome McGinley came into the hot stove lounge and, and we did a one-on-one -on -one for about 25 minutes. I think it's a reflection again on my family, it's a reflection on my parents, it's a reflection on my wife, uh, and it's a reflection on all my mentors. I found my space because sport is all inclusive. It is for everybody and, and I wouldn't be here without them. And I think this is an honor that they need to share, this is an honor for them. Um, I just did what I was told. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame 2019 inductee, Rob Kerr.